morning, ladies and gentlemen. I rise to call your attention today to the problem of gun violence and the critical opportunity to implement and to enact better laws and policies to reduce the problem of gun violence. There's no question that gun violence is a public health problem of staggering proportions. 31,000 people die from gun deaths and 73,000 non-fatal gun injuries every year in the United States. I include suicide in that, 61% of gun deaths are suicides. Homicide and suicide are the second and third leading causes of death in 15 to 24 year olds. And guns are involved in most violent fatalities and they're the reason that although we don't have higher crime rates than our peer countries, we have homicide rates several times higher. The estimated annual cost to society, uh, estimated by economists Phil Cook and Jens Ludwig, including medical costs, loss productivity, law enforcement, prevention, avoidance, harm reduction, $100 billion each year. How does the law fit in? It fits in uniquely in our country. I know you don't know this, but the guns are wrapped up in the United States Constitution somehow. Uh, the Second Amendment of the Constitution, as interpreted recently uh, by the Supreme Court and the Heller and McDonald decisions, affirm that the Constitution confers an individual right to keep and bear arms, but it's not an unlimited right. Uh, the law can regulate um, a lot of things about guns, what kinds of guns and ammunition are used, um, who, can, uh, be, who, sh who can have a gun, who can use it, who's prohibited from having a gun, where can guns be carried, uh, how uh, uh, guns are sold and transferred, and uh, a number of, of, of aspects of gun safety. Uh, I'm going to propose to you a package of, of policy and legal reforms uh, that are just right hot off the press. I was one of 20 experts that met earlier this week at the Johns Hopkins uh, Gun Policy Summit. And after two days of listening to the top experts uh, in, in the country and the world, uh, we came together and proposed a package of policy and legal reforms. Uh, this is a complicated problem. It needs a set of comprehensive solutions. And I'm not going to go into them in great detail, but I'll just mention there are things about that we can do that we could fix the background check system, have universal background checks, all gun sales go through licensed dealers. We need to modify the list of gun prohibited persons, uh, add some categories, modify others, uh, change the age limit, for example, to, uh, to 21. Um, in mental health, there are a number of things that we can do and should. We can fix the criteria for gun uh, prohibition, make it more about dangerousness and less about excluding a whole category of people uh, based, on a, based on a label and a history of mental health adjudication. We can improve uh, reporting to the National Instant Check System. Uh, we can enact uh, reforms uh, uh, dealing with, with, with dealers and, 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 and penalties for gun trafficking, evidentiary standards uh, for, for prosecuting uh, gun trafficking. We can regulate, uh, uh, personally require personalized guns using spectacular new technology so that gun could only be used by its, by its uh, owner with a permit. Ban assault weapons in high capacity magazines to reduce the lethality of shootings. And reinstate an improved version of the 1994 ban. Increase federal funding for gun violence research, which has been ham hampered in recent years, and make that commensurate with the social burden uh, uh, of disease that's attributed uh, to gun violence. What about the evidence? There's strong evidence for the magnitude and the effect of restoring of, uh, of the problem of gun violence. Uh, the public health burden and the cost of society is very well established. There's weaker evidence that all of these proposed reforms would reduce uh, gun violence. Um, that's, that's because for one, reason we, for one reason we have 300 million guns in private hands in this country. And so that, that uh, does affect uh, the, whether or not some particular uh, law or regulation is going to work. Nevertheless, the exigencies of policymaking right now at this moment demand that we move forward. Research funding um, has been hobbled and that needs to increase. More is needed now uh, to drive these reforms. But this is a critical moment. The mass shooting, the tragic uh, incident at Sandy Hook has galvanized the attention of policymakers and the nation uh, to, uh, to consider and to pass and to enact sensible uh, uh, gun policies and laws. There's widespread support for the range of these particular reforms. Uh, there's a brand new public opinion poll that's just been commissioned. And across the political spectrum and among gun owners and non-gun owners, the vast majority of these reforms uh, are, are supported. And uh, similar reforms proposed by the Obama administration are also supported. And this is the moment we need to seize the day. Thank you.